Okay. So I took a look at the things they bagged. We're at the uh, doctor's office now. We're going to check and see if uh, our lungs were in any way harmed by smoke inhalation. I checked to see what they actually was able to bag up that needed to be bagged up because I didn't know what we were going to do with whatever they bagged up. So they bagged it up. They threw it into our room. Um, the mattresses had been moved away from the walls and all that. Um, they, I did that yesterday night. Um, <sighs> There's a couple of things that were just thrown in there and they're fragile and irreplaceable mainly because they were projects and stuff that her brother and sister had made for her. Um, luckily a couple of, a couple of, from what I could see, some of them weren't broken. I couldn't see all of them, but there's, I want to say about four bags in the bedroom of miscellaneous objects that have been packed up and thrown in the back bedroom because of just all the debris that they're trying to sort through. So this is actually, I found out, um, this is my eighth journal entry. I went back and counted all the videos. And from literally the time of my apartment having absolutely no light in it to the time now where they've actually put a light in it, um, and to the time right now where I'm talking to you, and it's literally been uh, eight journal entries. So I'll have to go back and let people know um, that those entries, the actual entry numbers, are actually off by about four or five. But it's it's been so hectic. It's hard to think when you've got so much you got to go around doing. Uh, I was able to start paying for the apartment out of my savings. Um, I've been able to build a savings over t over a year, so I've, I've spanned. Um, it's been difficult trying to gain access to it as it's through my payee representative because I am on SSI. I have to have one, apparently. I was supposed to have all this in my name about four years back, and uh, I was so jammed up, and I wasn't able to get everything done in time. So, yeah. Uh, old history, but what's going on now is what the, uh, is what's necessary to, so, they just, my, here's my, uh, here's my fiance. She's coming back from her visit. They're about to check me out, I guess. What did they say? They said that the smoke does need to be cleaned from the apartment. They can't say for the baby since they didn't see the baby yeah. during the smoke inhalation, obviously. They said there. the soot Listen, needs to be? The soot needs to be cleaned and stuff because I have asthma. I have respiratory okay. issues, therefore. Okay. And I have documentation okay. stating this. They are putting me on an inhaler that I have to pick up tomorrow because I yeah, don't have your the other, money your to other do one, it. Your other one's all exactly. like I don't have the money to pick up Messed up, up and stuff now. Um... And let's see. What are they putting me on? Uh, or is you it, put it it's on. an inhaler, so I'm Prednisone guessing. Prednisone to help open up my airways. And a Pro Air HFA 180. Two puffs every four to six hours. Is it a ventilator? What is it? The prednisone is to help open up my airways. Okay. Oh. Um, and the Pro Air HFA. It's an inhaler. <coughs> but she in it's an inhaler, and she also did say that yeah, it's a good thing that he's not there and he won't be able to be back for a little while, even if we do get to move back tomorrow, and that we shouldn't even technically stay there until it is clean. So. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's my baby. That's my fiance. So, you see how aggravated she is. Um, she's literally had no, hardly any say in what's been going on. Um, I've been paying the rent and everything. And it's been very difficult on her, you know, seeing how hard it's been on me and how many people were just pulling chains and pulling teeth at me. Finally, finally, my pastor has decided, well, he's not going to put up with this, and has decided to 
make it a little easier. But before he was he was pulling teeth with me, and I'm. And he also tries to control my yeah. money. Well, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. He keeps he, asking that's, about it. Uh, that's my but um, I'll uh let you know when we have more updates. I'm about to have my appointment, so we're at the uh what, Alpina Medical. Uh, Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay. Regional Medical. Center Regional in Medical. Medi in Rogers City. In Rogers City. So I'm gonna go get my appointment. Huh? You may not have. You may not have got inhalation, but you've still got the cough, huh? Oh. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's going to have to, that's being done, so. Well, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. And, uh, remember that this is journal entry eight. So, just recalibrate everything you heard in terms of journal entries. I had to re go back and recount them. I've been making these things since yesterday, periodically throughout the day. So it's hard to keep track of things when you got so much going on. My mental state has been affected greatly by this. So um, we're going to go give the baby back to the babysitter for a second. Let her take him home and uh, head back home. Peace.